Hey guys, this is You Say D Wheeler here, and well, I finally got around to making another video. Well, big surprise there, though, but well, there's actually a new reason why I haven't been making videos lately, though. Well, aside from the fact that I'm just kind of lazy as hell, I've also been streaming on Twitch recently, though, and it's been pretty fun, though, so yeah, I've been streaming with Baby Dove, though, and for our new channel, The Breakers HQ, where we just uh, stream a lot of. We just stream whatever games we feel like playing, though. And then, eventually, we'll get around to putting them on our channel, though. And we also did, like, a Tiba entry event for, like, the Team Four Stars a Bridge series thing, though. Although, that that's a story for another time, though. But, in, in any case, I want to thank you all for the support you gave, us, gave to us on that, though. I will thank you all for that. And, uh... Yeah, so this is kind of an update video, and... Also an opening video at the same time, so. So, yeah. Okay, and recently I started school again, though, so my time is kind of limited, though, but I am trying to make time to actually go stream on Twitch, which, after I upload this video, I'll put our, like, again, I'll put our links, our Twitch channels in the description below. So I'll put mine, I'll put our Breakers HQ channel, and I'll, and then I'll put, like, well, I can't forget, yeah, just, just, I guess that's pretty much it, though, our, our channels, that way you can go check them out if you want, though, and, and then I'll try to make announcement videos if I can, like, like a default announcement to say whether, whether we're streaming or not, and yeah, all that good stuff, though, too, and also, uh, next weekend, well, I'm all, we're also gonna try to make another announcement video, because next weekend, uh, we, well, me and my brother, we're going to Akiba Fest in Tokyo, uh, Little Tokyo, uh, in Los Angeles, which is, it's a fan convention, well, not really a fan convention, it's a convention hosted by Aniplex of America, they, like, showing their appreciation for the fans' support over all these years, though, and it seems like fun, I'm gonna, like, meet up with some pretty cool voice actors, though, and just see what's there, alright? I'll make a video for that, too, well, it's gonna be on the Breakers channel, though, because me and Baby Dove were, are, we're thinking of ideas of what to make a video, but right now she's at uh, New York Comic Con, though, so we probably won't see until next week, though. But in any case, though, that's it for the update, and let's get to this opening video because I just recently uh, I got this actually just like an hour or two ago in the mail, and it's the new starter set for the Gear Chronicles, uh, the Gear Chronicles set from. Uh, Vanguard G next, and this has the Zodiac Time Beast stuff. So, without further ado, let's get this open. Yeah, I haven't gotten a lot of Vanguard cards lately because there wasn't, uh. It's been kind of a dry spell for, like, a lot of the decks that I use. So, uh, let me just cut this open a little more. Whoa, almost cut myself. So, yeah. And originally, I wasn't planning on getting this, though, but then. I realized though, I just remembered that. Remember, since uh, because of the new G zone limit, the 16 zone boost shield gives you bigger deck boxes, that way you can carry them. So I'm like, alright, that's cool. And I've actually been enjoying Vanguard G, uh, Vanguard G Next just from the first episode alone. So here's the box there's Chrono Jet Dragon G and Chrono. Let's open this up. Alrighty, so. Like I said, we get the big deck box, sleeves, and then promos, and then the deck as well. So, here are the promos, which I will uh, show in just a second. And here are the sleeves, which actually look pretty cool. And here is the deck, which also... Uh, I know that the, the deck comes with, like, two randomly stamped... Uh, at least from what I've heard, though, I'm not. Sh I forgot if it. I forgot what I. Well, I kind of forgot what I heard, though. But I know that you get some kind of hot stamp cards from the, like two hot stamp cards from the Zodiac Time Beast and whatnot too. And here's the deck, which I've been looking for. So it's going on the front. Chrono Jet Dragon G. I think to see what your deck is. Old spot, and Chrono Fang Tiger G. All right, so let's start off with the. With the promos that they got. Um, okay, this is just a thing for Gear of Fate, the clan booster. And then playmats, and yeah, you all know what playmats are. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like they reprinted Uluru, the G Guardian. Which is a very good G Guardian, I like. Okay, I kinda forgot what this name was though. And kinda forgot what it, I kinda forgot what a lot of this stuff. Well I do know Melum though, because she's pretty much used in every Gear Chronicle deck though. I don't know. I know uh I haven't really studied up on a lot of the new ones though, but I do post some on my page though, just because when my friend like put gets some of the new info, I just kind of just copy and paste, and I'm like, hey, right, cool, and then I just kind of look at them later. All right, so let's get into this uh, the deck in here. All right, so just that. Okay, so we got two copies of uh, Chrono Chrono Jet Dragon G. So we got one of the hot stamp ones. All right. Well, I'm not gonna bother going to the into the effects though, because well, one, like I said, I kind of forgot what some of them do though, and it'll be better if I just wait until I get the English box openings, and then I'll just kind of re read them. That way, I can just read them off there. So, yeah. So we got one non-hollow, and then I got yeah the stamped version, and then you get two of these dragon ones that I think help the. Oh, I forgot what to do. I think this one helps the Zodiac Time Beast stuff, though. So, because this is pretty much like a Zodiac Time Beast trial deck. Which, I'm not... I'll consider using it, though, whenever I build the deck, though. But just haven't decided what I want to actually build up on. Okay. I got a Chrono Fang Tiger G. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get... It comes in another one, though. But I think that's going to be one of the other hot stamps I got. So, just put that aside right there. Let me just kind of organize this. That. Alright, you get four of this one. It looks like it gains 4k or something. It's a Steam Maiden. So, not much to say. Looks, the art looks nice. And got two of the 10k Vanillas. This is more of the Zodiac Time Beast, that Spin Serpent thing. So you got that. And then another Zodiac Time Beast. I think this is the monkey. Get two of him. And then you get four copies of uh, Chrono Beat Buffalo. I think something like if you have like a Chrono, like a not a Chrono, like a Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard against two K. So that's uh, that. You get two of these things. Kind of forgot what it does, but whatever. And 8k vanilla of the Zodiac Time Beast. I forgot which animal this one was. I think it's... Oh, I don't want to start guessing right now. Because otherwise, I'm going to keep racking my brain over it, though. And then you get four copies of the Jackal. Alright. And then three copies of this Steam person. Yeah, I'll just call him a steam person. Yeah. Also, I'm also trying not to make this too long, though, because I already... Just making this, like, an update and, uh... And an opening, though. But I want to at least try and get, like, a, more videos out, though, but... Mainly the stuff uh, I've been wanting to... Want to do, like I said, just mainly on Twitch stuff. Because I've been having fun that way. And we get two of the perfect guards here. Alright, just move this upward. Okay, let me just spread this out a bit. That way I can have more room. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that, people. Moving you guys all the way up here. Put you right there. Alright, then starter we get Chrono Dran G. So, starter. I'm not sure if I will. Just depending on how I'm going to build the deck, I might like just stick with regular Chrono Dran, but. Eh, we'll see. Okay. Nextly, we get 
four criticals. The rabbit for the Zodiac Time Beast. We get two draw, which is another. These are all pretty much Zodiac Time Beast triggers. We got three stand. And of course, four heals. And then we get two reprints of the Lucky Pod Draco Kid. It's alternate art, so it looks pretty cool. But I like my foiled ones. And then the, the other two stamped ones, I got a Chrono Fang Tiger G stamp. And the, the chicken, the stand trigger chicken. I kind of... I'm kind of hoping that this will be the same in English, though, but we can see, though. If if it is, though, well, that gives me a reason to actually buy four decks, though, because originally I've been just thinking, you know what, I'm just going to buy two decks, though, but then if it, each deck guarantee comes with, like, two hot stamps of, like, one of the, some of the, of the Time Beast, though, it might be worth getting four. And, of course, we have the Clan card and the Fighter's Counter. Alrighty, well... That's pretty much it about the deck, though. I mean, I already talked about the update and what I'm going to be doing next week, though, and about school. Well, school, school, I'm actually on my second to the last year. So after winter, I'll be done with school, actually. So I'm actually going to be, like, looking for jobs and stuff, too. That way I can pay off my student loans and stuff. But that'll be another time, though. In any case, though, like like I said, next weekend I'll be at Akiba Fest, though. So if some of you are going to be down in Little Tokyo, I hope to see some of you there. And as of right now, so thank you all for the for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. All right, this is Yusei D Wheeler, and I'm signing off. Take care.